Hey guys, um, you might notice that it's a little bit brighter because backyard is open, <laughs> the blinds are open, so I'm actually not using the light light, I'm using sunlight. So um, yesterday I went to Niagara Falls to go see my cousin and pick her up because actually my uncle and auntie actually asked if I wanted to come and I asked them if my dad could come too and basically my cousin she plays squash the sport squash and um, she went to compete competitively she went to stay for three days at a white oaks retreat and it's right across the Niagara Falls um, outlet center outlet mall so yeah and um, it's a really big outlet mall, um, but it's one of those outlets that are not in like indoors building. It's actually like open. So it's basically they have a lot of aisles like you just basically walk and then all the stores are like side by side and side by side and you go in them individually like they all have their own entrance and doors. So like kind of like in the mall, but imagine it not in the mall and outside so it's basically an outdoor mall so i went to there um i wasn't planning on getting anything but i was curious because i know one of my co-workers he has a moose knuckle jacket and i was curious i was like how much are those jackets because i asked my dad and my dad said like, i don't know the average price for that and usually for like pretty expensive clothing we don't really know the average price to be honest um so here's the nice bag they gave us and loose knuckle basic basically i researched the um meaning of their symbol so and their name so basically it's a moose footprint hoof print and then it's actually a knuckle like um brass knuckles like for fighting and basically it's to represent like hockey fights and the toughness of hockey fights because it's a very Canadian brand so that's why they have that and um, yeah um, let me get the tag it comes in this big nice black bag I'm gonna keep this bag man <laughs> it's so like it's pretty durable too it's not like undurable and here is what it is. It's a very Canadian brand. And I paid... So it was $595. And I got it on sale for... Ooh, $570 something. $570. And uh, yeah. Usually I searched up online. Like the bomber style jackets. Like the short jacket that I got. Um, usually they're like $850 or like and then the longer jackets those ones that have a little more length so they reach to like here more um those ones are um around a thousand and um before that i was wearing in uh Canadian Goose brand uh, jacket because those are really popular and those work really well in the winter. It's supposed to go up to like negative 30-ish degrees Celsius where you can wear it in. So if you go up north and you wear it, you'll be super warm. And um, that one, those ones are usually a thousand to two thousand dollars. But I went to Nordstrom Rack and actually I bought mine for around a hundred because it was on sale it was off season according to them and i don't know how it was that cheap to be honest because this one was already on sale and it's still pretty pricey to be honest but yeah that's what it was and um basically i'll show you the jacket now yeah i put it on my chair because i don't want it on the floor so it comes with the hanger that they hanged it on, which is super nice. And the worker there, she's so nice. She said um, the sale will last to like around March. She genuinely didn't know like what specific date they would end. But she, all she knows is the sale will last till March. And so if you want to get one and buy one, 
a little bit more on sale, you should definitely go check it out. It's a Niagara outlet. Um, I don't know if the other outlets are having the sale too. They probably do. Um, it's not really an off-season though because it's still winter, but I guess because it's a transition to spring, technically speaking, from a technical standpoint of marketing and retailing. So that's why it's off season, but it's still cold so you can wear it. And last year, like our winter in Canada lasted till, in Mississauga lasted till like April and April and May, and that's pretty long. So is because of global warming and all that. So stuff still goes on sale because it's technically seen as off season, but it's not really because you can extend how long you wear it due to the fact that the cold stays for longer than normal. So yeah, so. So I bought this one. There's the logo embroidered on it. It actually has this. And they had many different colors. This one, there's like a natural color, and uh, there's one that isn't, and there's one that isn't, and they have many variations um, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, um, I know a lot of people get mad when you say that like the fur coats have like animal fur, but. I heard the Canadian goose brand actually uses like coyote fur um, and a different mix of fur, coyote. Um, I don't know what else. I remember hearing that they use like, I don't know. They don't use Canadian goose because they're supposed to be Canadian goose protecting, but I think they use like those white geese feathers from the farm like the down feathers and stuff. So I don't know really what's going on, but my dad said he heard that it wasn't that good. So I don't know about that situation, but I searched up. They do admit that they use like the fox fur, but they get it from a place, an auction place that sells it, that focuses on sustainable ways of doing it, not just like, massively killing animals and like wasting animal lives for it they do focus on a sustainable thing like if you ever are curious about it you can go check it out like go check their website they have a link to like which place they get it from and it talks about sustainable stuff for like fashion and stuff so they really try to be nice to animals even though they use the fur so it's not like other companies where you don't really know and then there's like bad stuff going on behind it. Um, this is actually like probably dyed pink and they have like, if you buy one that's like more natural color and not dyed like blue or pink and stuff like that, for those ones actually, it'll be a variation of the fur color on the hood because not all fur is the same. So if you buy one in person, you can choose, you can kind of pick and choose like what you want the natural color to look like, like what gradient looks nice to you. But if you buy it online, they cannot like say, oh, it looks exactly, the hood looks exactly like the picture because all fur looks different and the variation is gonna look different for the color. So. You can't really get upset at them because there's no way to control that, but yeah. But I'm happy that they do sustainable stuff and don't just go all over. Now, um, I bought the bomber jacket, so it's supposed to be tight and short. So yeah, and um, kind of drooled on it yesterday because I fell asleep. Okay, so. Well, it's okay. Um, so he has two pom poms here. The guy ones don't have pom poms, obviously. And uh, that pink was like a really pretty color. And it's black with pink. Um, my Canadian goose jacket is pretty much white. So there was a white and black one, but I chose white. But the problem with having white, like, especially if you take public transportation all the time, like I take the bus and everything, like, being outside in general, 
it's gonna get dirty no matter how careful you try to be so in general like i sit on the bus and i notice there's crumbs there's dust and the like on the bus seats and there's nothing really i can do about it all i can do is like wash it like i washed it once and then like one week in and then it became all dirty again so i need to wash that one but it's really long and heavy so that's why i didn't really like it this is still a little bulky but not that bad like i don't mind it being a bulky jacket um but if it's not so long, that doesn't that means it won't drag on the floor. Like if I put it at the back of the seat, like the back of the seat, and hang it up when I'm in the restaurant, normally it would just like drag on the floor. So this one won't, which is good. So how the sleeves look? And these are actually good because they'll keep your hands warm. Um, so. I didn't really check out the situation with the pockets. So, I don't know what this is for, but it seems like nothing. But there's a small pocket here. Not that big, you can see my hand. And then there's a big pocket here. It, it fits my hand, it kind of fits my phone, but my phone, it fits the majority of my phone where my phone won't like just pop out. But again, my phone is pretty big. It's like, a really large phone so that's why it doesn't fit but if you have like a standard phone or a small phone it will definitely fit and then the zippers and then the same pockets here um okay so on one side only sorry that was the chair on one side only there's the logo. All of the jackets have these. My dad said they used to all only be silver, and the gold logo is actually a new thing that they started doing for the new designs, I guess. I don't know. Um, but my dad said most of the time he's seen, like, silver before, so gold is, like, a new design for them. So, yeah. And then inside, we have... Okay, so inside is actually this pocket, and where is it? And this pocket. So, so one side the pocket is like this way. Is it vertical or horizon horizontal? And then this one is vertical. So you pop it like this, it's like that. And the logo and the size is here. Um, this is the tag. Uh, oh, it's a certification tag, so just saying it's authentic. And yeah, and um. There's the hood. The hood has two buttons here, so you can cover up your neck. I like these buttons because um, hoods tend to be really big on my head, so when it's really windy, they actually just fly off of my head. And especially if you're walking directly in the direction of wind coming at you, the hood just flies off my head. And it's really bad because you can't hold... In the wintertime, you can't hold the hood on your head because your hands will freeze and I need to keep my hands in my pockets. So these are really good buttons that I like. My other jacket had that too. And then you go like this. And this one, there are buttons here at the back. Like so. So you can detach the hood. Um, Detach the hood. I think I think it's better to detach the hood if you want to wash it because the fur I don't think you can wash this fur part. Yeah, so I would detach that. And uh, this part I'm not really sure what this part is for actually. I think you can adjust like 
the sides of your hood and stuff. I don't know. I haven't used these. Um, my other jacket doesn't have this at all, so I don't know. But the fur part, definitely you want to detach the hood because it will... I think it will get messed up and not be as soft anymore if you put it in the wash. So yeah, but normally it's just the jacket that gets messy anyway. So yeah, and then this part, I'm so confused. <laughs> so there's this part where you can unhook, unbutton, and this is where you can adjust. I'm assuming this is adjusting like the size of your hood a little bit, make it a little shorter. And then this one, not too sure about, uh, need to research that. And the pom-poms are actually attached to the hood here. So you don't have to worry. You can just like unattach the pom-poms with the hood and then throw in the wash. Um, they said dry wash, dry clean. Like you shouldn't be like, Dry clean is like a specific type of washing you have to do. You can also take it to the dry cleaners. They'll probably know how to wash it better. Um, but don't, don't try to throw it all in and then not know what you're doing. Because same thing for my other one. Because if you put it into the wash and you don't put the right stuff in. Because last time my dad, he put the tennis balls in to make sure it stayed puffy. Because it actually beats like beats on the jacket and then it will keep the feathers more puffy and make it puffier again so this one i think needs that too when you're drying um don't just throw it in and not know what to do there's a specific way of washing it i need to ask my dad because i'm i usually don't wash like in special way and these are made in vietnam I bet. Always interesting to see other countries on tags because usually I see made in China. So yeah, but these are really good quality. It's really warm. I feel like it's worth it. And it's downfilled and it's super warm. It's bulky, but not like super intensely heavy. Like I don't have a lot of mass on me. So usually really heavy jackets are heavy to me. And um, the white jacket was actually, the Canadian goose one was actually pretty heavy for me too, so yeah. But I bought the pink to match my pink, but I think I need to redye my hair a little bit because it figured it from the top so fast. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been doing a lot of haul videos. Um, I haven't done my last one on a bear that I got. I got a bear stuffy. Uh, I don't know if I did, I don't recall if I did a video on that, but I'll go check and see. If I didn't, I'll make a video and that will be the next one I post after this video. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check down in the description box below. All my social media is there. Go like and follow those so that way you get constant art updates and pictures of my stuff. And, um, my hauls, I have a whole bunch of hauls in my hauls playlist, so you can go check that out if you like seeing my haul videos, like this one. And there's drawing playlist, taste testing playlist, cosplay playlist, there's a whole bunch of different playlists that I have. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!